Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and today I'm gonna show you how to make a cute pockets and pies apron. It only takes about 30 minutes. It's super simple. You can probably make it from everything you have at home. You just need a yard of fabric and today we're using this really um, fun, bright fabric called Girl Power from Damask Love for Riley Blake. You just need a simple hand towel and um, I like to use the magic pins for pinning since they're thicker. It would be great to use a thicker needle so a size 90 would be great and just some basic sewing supplies. And it's gonna take under 30 minutes to make one so they would make great Christmas gifts or great housewarming gifts. So let's get started. From your one yard of fabric, you're gonna cut a 20 by 22 inch rectangle piece. On this one, you wanna make sure the direction of the people is the 20 inch, and this is the 22 inch, so that on your apron, this is the front. And then cut two four inch width of fabric strips that we're gonna join together. These are for your ties, and this is for the front of your apron. Take your big piece of fabric and press it and make sure your design is going up. Then you will take your towel and for us you can either do it on the front or the back either way we're just going to go ahead and cover up this logo and we're going to just take a ruler and measure nine inches up and using these thicker pins will help them stay in place so you're going to just use those as a placement guide and then you will place the fold right on that. You can unfold your towel, actually. And just place this right at that nine inches. So now to make this easier, I'm just gonna put some pins in to keep it in place. And this print is so fun and bright, it's gonna really make a great gift. So once you've got enough pins in place, we will turn this to the back. And I'm gonna trim one inch away from each side. So I'm gonna trim this bulk off and here, we're gonna leave this on since this is thicker at the bottom. But if you want, if you have a towel that isn't as thick right here, you could trim it one inch. Then what we'll do is we're gonna fold this in once and fold it in again and pin along the side and this is going to be self binding and we'll do the first two sides and then the bottom. Now you can see I've pinned this side. You could also use Wonder Clips. So whichever way, um, whatever you have at home is, is um, fine and do whatever you think works best for you. So two options on just putting this behind. So you can either do this, which is what I'm gonna do since it's easier, or you can do a miter by folding this up, miter, and then go up. You're just gonna have a gap right here. So you would need to kind of pull that over. And I don't really wanna mess with that since this is just a fun gift. So I will probably just do right here. I will just use some pins. Thank you. 
So now all we need to do is sew this down. We're gonna be using size 90 needles, and the reason that we are using size 90 is they're thicker and they will work better with a towel. And I'm just gonna use Aurifil Color 2021 so that it kind of blends in with my fabric. You could also use aqua thread. You can use any thread you would like. And we just need to make two pockets. So to make the pockets, what we decided is we're just gonna kind of draw a line five and a quarter inch away from each edge. And I'm just using a friction pen that we can use that it will come out with heat later. And I'm gonna do both sides. You can do any um, distance you want. You could do four pockets or just two pockets. You will need some kind of pockets though. So now what we will do is using our size 90 needles and white thread, we're gonna start here, stitch on the right side, the bottom and the left side about a quarter inch away and just sew it from the top of your machine and it will hold these in. After you do that, you're gonna just stitch down these two lines to have your final pockets. And when I'm sewing, I will be using a walking foot. I think it is necessary for this because you are working with a towel and this is gonna really help and I would use about a 3.0 stitch length. When I start, I'm gonna take a couple of stitches and then back stitch to secure my stitches and just keep stitching. Sew until you get about a quarter inch away and the bottom of this is really bulky. So I'm probably gonna stitch about half inch away. And you can see that my stitches are pretty long and when you get kind of up here, they're gonna get shorter because there's so much bulk and then just start stitching the other direction. And then when you look at the back, you can see that everything is nice and tidy. We wanna go back and create those pockets. So I will start at the very top of the pocket, take a couple of stitches, back stitch, and then sew all the way down, just making sure that you don't have any pins in your way. We have our two four inch strips and these are gonna be the ties on your apron and so we need to sew these together. So since this is a directional print, you just wanna make sure all your faces go up and you can either join this on the straight, just like this, or you can do this. I'm gonna join it on the diagonal. And what I'm going to do is just Draw this line. I'm gonna stitch directly on this line and then I'll come back and we'll trim this off and press. So now what I will do is just cut this off about a quarter inch away. And we're just gonna make this nice and flat. Press to one side. And here you can press open if you would like, you don't have to, it's totally optional, but I am, just so there's a little bit less bulk. So now I'm gonna show you what to do. The first thing you will do is we're gonna put wrong sides together and iron. And you'll do that along the entire piece. And 
and you will open it back up. Fold to the center and press. And you're going to do that all the way down the entire strip. So go ahead and do that and we'll be right back. So you have created this all the way down. Now we're going to press one more time and press all the way across the end and we're going to be ready to attach our tie to the apron. Once you have everything pressed, we're going to finish the two ends. You can just pull this in, maybe half an inch, quarter inch, whatever you think, and then fold it back over. And then you won't have anything raw, any raw fabrics on the end. And I'll just put this pin in place and we're going to be stitching over that when we're done. And we're going to do that on both sides. You want to take your towel and decide where you want this to come over. So you can have it here or you can do it a little bit longer and have it a little bit shorter in the back, which is what we're going to do. And that should be about 16 inches. So there we go. That's about 16 inches. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want this to be a little bit longer in the front than the back. Then I will take this find the center and just have a little crease we'll mark our center and then we're going to take this apron tie find the center of the apron tie find the center and the center should be kind of where your join is also and I'm just going to put this over the top. And you're just enclosing the towel in the tie. This is basically the same thing as making bias tape. And when you're doing this, you want the front to be around the same as the back so that when we sew this down, it sews the front and the back at the same time. So trying to keep it even is going to be helpful. And then from here, you can use Wonder Clips or you don't have to clip it. Um, I'm not gonna clip it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sewing machine and we're gonna enclose this side. We're gonna stitch on the very bottom here and then stitch all the way around. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the sewing machine. When you're stitching on just these two fabrics, it would be great to do like a 2.0 stitch length. But when you get over here, you would want to stitch on like a 3.0 or a 4.0 because you've got four layers of fabric, two layers, two layers of fabric and two layers of towel. So you will have to lengthen your stitch length when you get here. And we're just going to be enclosing it all up. So you can see when I'm stitching, I'm stitching about a quarter of an inch away, but I'm using one of the lines on my walking foot as a guide. Okay, so when I get 
here, I'm going to just go to like a 3.5 stitch length and see if that works without. And I'm using that same width using my walking foot as a guide. And then when you get back to just the fabric, just go back to your previous stitch length and go all the way down and then close the end. So now we have everything sewn and you can see when you look on the back, the stitches on the front match the back and that's because we put those wonder clips in and we're about a quarter inch away. If you sew too close to the edge, the back might not catch and this is going to be great for you or your friends you can use it for cooking you can use it to put your sewing supplies in if you're a scrapbooker you can use it while you're scrapbooking so this is definitely multi-use and makes great gifts we hope you love this video we'll see you on future videos and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel